fourth time's the charm, right? So, um, this is a quick life update in between uh, a thunderstorm coming in and um, airplanes flying overhead, which we're not on a flight path, but here we are. So, let's see if I can do this the fourth time. Oh my gosh, I hear a siren. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm here to update you. <laughs> here comes a wind gust. I'm here to update you on my Chickalitathon. Remember that in May, it's now mid July. Um, progress. So that was lightning. Here comes the thunder. Got to do this quickly, Sophie. So the bottom line is, Chickalitathon really didn't happen for me. I started out okay and I finished one book Rachel Hawkins Her Royal Highness which was all sorts of adorable I think I gave it four stars it followed this one girl she moves to a boarding school in Scotland and ends up rooming with none other than a princess and Rachel presents this in you know the cutest way possible I love the fact that she inserted little articles um, from like tabloids or blog posts that follow celebrities and stuff um, Rachel puts the ROM in calm and she does it so well and I really enjoyed the book if you know I had the chance ever to be a high school librarian or middle school librarian I would put her books on the shelf so speaking of librarians you'll see me wearing a lot more library shirts and book shirts because you guys I accepted a job as an elementary school librarian so all of you who have been praying for me to find a job in something that I love as you know I've been working uh, as a library substitute for the last year and a half for a school district there were only two positions available this year last year there were like 13 retirements I kid you not and um, I interviewed for both and one I really really like the principal she's new to the school too and um, you know I barely finished the interview when she turned around and called me back and she was so excited and I'm genuinely excited the school's a little bit further than I wanted to go it's about 25 minutes from my house I kind of wanted to stay within you know kind of the proximity of our of our neighborhood my girls school but you know I think we're gonna make this work and I'm excited to start in the middle of COVID with masks on and every student going through the library it's gonna be awesome you guys Honestly, at this point, I don't know what else could happen in 2020. So, <laughs> as some of you know, Chickalitathon for me was a fail because my brain has just not been focused. I've had trouble focusing. A lot of it has to do with the fact that my husband passed away six and a half months ago and I've had more work, more stuff to do than... I ever thought I could do I mean honestly like this the the issues I've come across and the things that I've had to do in the last six and a half months have been unbelievable and if you are listening to this and saying whoa 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 what happened I'm gonna link the video up there where I kind of explain it all I don't want to make this into a grief channel or you know how is Sophie coping it's that's not the point I want to talk about books because they do make me happy and I have been reading and the way I've been doing most of my reading is through audiobooks honestly so Chickalitathon fail I read one book I really want to read Christina Lauren book the Josh and Hazel one but I'll get to it eventually so I just wanted to take a moment and thank you guys and update you on just the fact I got a job and all of you that have been praying and wishing and sending out good juju um, thank you so much I'm looking forward to my next adventure and we'll see where it takes me and my kiddos I never thought we'd be on this journey but here we are and I hope that for all of us during COVID times get a little bit better I really don't know you know we were hoping that summer would kind of quell the virus but it, it's done just the opposite so whatever school holds for me I look forward to it I think that you might see a Mrs. R's reading spot remember I quickly um, created a channel for the school I was subbing because I got to sub for a little bit of distance learning 
and um, I'm ready to even bring that back. I mean, I'm so grateful to all of you who watched those videos because I know some of you watched. <laughs> I'll link them up here if you want a good laugh. And, and, and thank you. Thank you for supporting me and the kids and just for being awesome. I want to give a shout out to a couple of people that participated in Chicklitathon. Trish, thank you so much. You jumped on board and posted on Instagram and tweeted about it. And I'm such a bad person. I'm about halfway through the month. I just kind of gave up because I was focused on too many other things. I also want to thank Brie from Falling for Romance. Brie, you were amazing because you went ahead and hit me up on Twitter and said, you know, hey, are you doing Chocolatathon? When I posted about it, you were totally supportive of it. And, um, you know, I, I, you're such a huge romance booktuber. I'm so glad that our paths crossed. And thank you for the shout outs and the promotion. I really, really appreciate you. And then my daughter, Kat. My cat, she jumped right on, and kiddo, I couldn't be prouder of that AP U.S. History score. You rock. You literally rock. Um, and thanks for supporting your mom and all her zaniness. It's something that my husband always did. He always supported me in all these, like, fangirly moments that I had. And the, the kids continue to do that. So thank you, all of you who jumped on. I have been thinking about Chicklitathon and kind of the future of it and I know May 2021 is really far away but I'm thinking about maybe changing the name because I know people find Chicklit the term offensive. I personally never did but I get it so I'm thinking maybe like rom com or rom com read or that's kind of mouthful isn't it but that's what Chicklit has always meant to me. It's meant a female protagonist and kind of a rom-com zany madcap plot with that inevitable happily ever after, usually. Chicklet actually means anything, any story starring a female protagonist. So that kind of opened up the readathon, which I really enjoyed because you could read, you know, thrillers or mysteries or whatever, you know, whatever you were in the mood for. Women's literature, classics, right? As long as it had a female protagonist. So if you have any suggestions for renaming it, rebranding it, put them down below. Or if you think Chicklitathon is still okay, let me know. I don't want to purposefully offend anyone. That's not the intention of me or this silly little channel of mine. Anyway, just wanted to take a moment to catch you up with my goings on and, you know, what you can look forward to from my channel going forward. I really do want to keep this up. This is kind of my little sane corner of the world as as the world all around us implodes with viruses and whatnot um, challenges. I just want to keep this going if I can. So look forward for the next video by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell icon to know when I post. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.